Yo, what is up guys, it is Fully Spaced here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spooky house. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because I've been absolutely loving this YouTube stuff so far, and it's been going pretty well, and I just want you to make, it, make sure you guys remember to subscribe and just leave a like to help me out and motivate me even more. So let's get straight into the video. So as you can see here, I've built the foundation, and I actually started playing around with cobblestone and stone bricks instead of using wood, because I like to use wood a lot, uh, mostly the dark spru or spruce wood, but today I've gone with dark spruce, and I've actually used dark spruce uh, normal plant, uh, oak logs even for the, like, uh, for the frame of the building, and then I went with the spruce on the inside. Uh, I've made it of an L shape. It's actually a full square by an L, but the front square will be a patio area. And I built up by four here and began to build the frame again. I've added this extra layer around the middle here where I've built the upstairs. This is just literally just a little overhang just to make things look a bit more detailed. And uh, it, I wanted to make this look abandoned and just like it's been left here for some time. So I've gone and tried to make it like that. I'm not particularly great at building haunted houses or things like uh, of that of that degree even. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of my, my, my attempt of it. Uh, I, I love to build the roofs first for some reason. This roof was an, uh, an absolute pain to play around with, in opinion, in my opinion, because uh, there was just so much ways I could do it. And uh, I, as you'll see through this video, I actually do change a lot of the blocks so they match. And because uh, a lot of the blocks I was using were just like, if you use spruce for the whole roof here, you, you, as you can see now, the whole building is like this dark spruce color, and it just doesn't look very nice. The shape of the roof looks cool. But it just doesn't look very nice. I actually end up changing the outside or bottom layer, the tr like the the trim I'm going to call it, uh, into cobblestone. You'll see later. Uh, but just here, I'm going around the edges, adding a few windows in, and uh, just filling up space, adding some fences on the corners of the building as well, just to like it's been held up, and then adding stairs at the bottom as well, just to give it a bit more detail. As you can see down there, there's cobblestone stairs leaning against the uh, frame of the building. Uh, as you can see here, I've putting stone walls on each corner now, on the outside, just to make it look like the building's been held up by them. Uh, I added a bunch of windows in, and then I decided to trim the roof up here. So I actually changed the cobblestone just because it gave the build a bit more detail, and in my opinion, it looked a lot better than just leaving it all in one color. Uh, having multiple colors definitely does make your color palette just look better, and just having a color pattern makes the build look better overall. Using the same materials generally wears it down, and uh, I kind of think they look bit naff after a while. Uh, so I added a few lanterns in just to brighten it up because uh, I was decided to build this in a spruce, I don't actually know what it's called, like a woodland biome, um, just because it looks a lot more scared, it would look a lot more haunted as you'll see later on when I change it to night time it does look a bit better. So as you can see here I've gone round with leaves and vines just to make it look like it's overgrown and all leaves and vines have been growing on it and it's been sat here for a long time, no one's really touched the building. I've got lanterns hanging up as round outside as well. I, um, I then started adding on to the, I'm going to call it the patio or porch. Don't really know which one you'd call this. Uh, or the front, yeah, front porch I'd say. Uh, I added onto this with just a simple stair wall uh, going down onto a path and then I added a scarecrow, little pumpkin scarecrow dude uh, just at the front door there. Added a little pumpkin field with a few leaves and vines in it and then added a few dead bushes around the edge. I even went around the house and added a few dead bushes in like a little plant uh, plant benches, I'm gonna call it, uh, plant benches, they're probably anything, but it's like, uh, just like, um, flower, a little flower gardens that are all dead, basically, is how I'm gonna say. Uh, at the front, I added a cauldron with a campfire as well, just to make it look like this, some weird concoctions have been going on here. So as you can see, now I'm heading over onto the inside, and all the vines have started to grow a bit here, and we have this really spacious inside. For this, I decided, uh, the, obviously where the framing is on the building, I'm going to use that as the floor. So I actually went ahead and built this into a floor here. I love using this new pattern, <laughs> I don't know why. I use it in a lot of them just because it gives the build a bit more detail instead of using one full colour. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I've started to use like different colour birch or different colour planks. For example, I'm using spruce planks and birch planks here. Just because uh, having a pattern just generally looks better than filling the floor in one colour. So as you see I'm going down here and I actually begin to build the staircase first just so I can get a rough feel of the building of, and where I'm going to build everything. I go ahead and build it in this corner here. Uh, I built with slabs just to build it like a little round, rounded staircase that goes towards, the, uh, towards that part of the house and then turns back on itself. I 
I then fenced this off just so you can't fall down the stairs, as uh, I don't really want to do that, because that would suck. Up here, as you can see, I was just looking around at the roof, and there's a lot of things that I need to fill in, because where I started building from the outside, uh, there was a few blocks that I obviously missed, so I started playing around with that and just filling them in. I was just playing around with different types of uh, slabs there, just so I could get a more defined roof. Uh, giving the roof a bit of shape and keeping the shape is definitely something I wanted to do there. That's why I was playing around with the slabs for quite a while. Here I was really unsure of what to do, so I actually kind of left that in the end. Just to be a normal um, open stairwell kind of thing. Uh, so upstairs, I decided to build this into the bedroom. I was going to have three beds, but I thought... Uh, when I thought about it, I thought that's way too many beds. It takes up like a lot of the room. There's a window right by the head of your bed. It's probably something you don't want. Uh, so I just actually stuck with one bed and gave it a few barrels, chests upstairs and a little brewing table. Just because I wanted the house to feel a bit more old and, you know, like it's being used, I decided to use the brewing table just to give it a bit more of a spooky feature. Like someone who lives here is probably a witch or some sort of uh, person you don't really want to be around, really. So, uh, having things, small details like that are just things that make you, or make the player feel like this is a bad place to be. Adding dead bushes as well just makes like the place is not very well maintained, and gives it a bit more of a scary atmosphere. A bit hard to make things scary in Minecraft, but making things just look a bit old and decrepit is generally ways to make things look scarier. And, uh, you just got your standard table and chairs upstairs here. Then added, started playing around with the cauldron. In the end, I actually didn't put the cauldron upstairs. I thought, I'll just leave it as a simple thing here. Uh, simple upstairs and go downstairs and finish that up. As you can see, I'm still playing around with that cauldron idea. Um, definitely, definitely something that I shouldn't have added. Or even tried to have had because it was just like not going to work. And then I added a fence in here just to make it uh, so, so the staircase wrapped around like you have your kind of handrails at home. Uh, this one's just literally making like the staircase is being held up. And then I added a few barrels of storage down in the corner here. Uh, I decided to go with barrels over chests because barrels just look a lot more uh, like uh, it looks like an item that's a lot less affordable. Uh, so more people are going to have it. Uh, this person probably isn't massively rich in terms of... Um, in terms of Minecraft if they're having barrels because barrels aren't quite as good they or they just generally don't look quite as good for storage uh, so that's why I use those and then I started filling up with book cases or book shit yeah book cases just to um make it look like the person who lives here actually reads a lot or for some reason has just a load of books and you know it could you can always add lore to these builds like they love making potions so they have loads of books for that uh, yeah it's just things like that small things that you think of that you know, adding into the game is definitely something that you want to start doing. It definitely defines the build more if you start doing that. As you see here, I'm actually looking for redstone. Uh, instead, I could have just typed it in. But for some reason, I was just going through it, looking for different blocks I could use in this build. I actually then went along with getting some redstone and just, you know, doing the standard placing of redstone just to look like there's a bit of blood in the house. So something scary has definitely happened in here. Obviously, you could live in this and you don't need the blood and you just want to live in a creepy house and go for it. But I made the blood head up towards the upstairs, up towards the bed, like they've been dragged out of bed or something. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So now I'm going to give you guys a preview of the house. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And peace.